applying the decals on our USS Enterprise kit. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, let's build it! Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Slescu and I'm the owner of Monster Hobbies in High River, Alberta, Canada. Welcome back to our very fun episode where we're going to show you how to apply the decals onto your Star Trek USS Enterprise kit by AMT. And now, have you guys, you've got enough time there over the weeks, have you finally figured out a name that you want to use on this decal sheet as well as what numbers are you going to use? And I bet you're probably wondering which one I'm going to use. So, without further ado, let's go down to the bench and start applying those decals. Hello everybody and welcome to my nightmare, as Alice Cooper would say. No, but seriously, welcome down to the bench again. And this time we're going to be doing some of our decals. And I'll show you how it's done. Don't worry. Actually, the first thing that I did was I made this nice... Um, this is the top of the saucer. It's a line drawing that I did, and I did it the old-fashioned way using a compass and a piece of paper. I know, groundbreaking, isn't it? But it's just a raw guide so that we know uh, of where to put the decals. And this has got all the grids, the vectors and intersections that you need. And then what I did is I took this decal sheet and I put it on my scanner and just printed it in black and white and I got to I did a couple of different ones there's the Constitution the Congo and the Potemkin now the reason why I did these three it's kind of specific here, is just to give you an idea of what it looks like with the number ones. Uh, this is for spacing, of course. The zeros, and then having a one beside a zero. So from this knowledge that I've just shown you, you could do 10, 17 by switching those, and you'll know that that 0 should intersect in there, and the 7 should be back a little bit like it is here. And if you wanted to do a double type number, this could also be, you know, 2, the number 2, the number 3, those kind of numbers, that they would all fit in this configuration. And of course, Yeah, your narrow numbers. So your fours could be in here too. So yes, this is why I did it, and I suggest you do the same. Uh, and now, in order to get this, of course, you wind your compass in and out, and you find a center hole, right? And then you can measure off, uh, like, do the big one first, and then on your saucer grid, the way I did this was I just wound the compass down and from the plastic on the saucer I found the right height there and then I made a little mark along here on the paper and then I opened this up and I went down to where that mark was and did my circle there you know and you get the idea. And once you have one as a paper pattern, you can photocopy it many, many times and then cut out all the letters on here with scissors and put it down. And it, it also gives you a good comprehension of where this stuff is supposed to go with your actual Enterprise kit. Constitution class Starship kit, I guess we should say. And always keep in mind that the dash is right on that center line. And it also allows you to move this back and forth and find out which letter and how high up it should be on here to make it look right on that uh, curve. Because remember, the name isn't curved, it's straight, but the letters, or the numbers are, of course. Numbers and letters. <laughs> the registration number. <laughs> okay, so what do you need for this project? 
other than papers that are not going away. Okay. You'll need your deck all sheet, of course. You will need your instructions because they do give you a guide as to where these go. As you can see, that goes there. These little numbers go underneath. Your pennant goes there, numbers in between the pennant and the tail of the pennant, and then the side pennant there. So, yeah. And of course, our box for a reference. Now, after all that regular stuff is done, you will need a little pan for water, because these are water uh, soluble decals. Well, not water, water transfer decals. This actually was a little thing that came from a science kit. See, it's been burned on the bottom and it's got a little waffle pattern in there. That's because it used to sit on a, a piece of metal. And there's a flame underneath, right, to heat it up. For all you guys that remember science. You'll need your hobby knife. And you will need some toilet paper to blot out the water when it's on the model. So, let's go gather up all our Star Trek parts and, of course, some water. <laughs> and make sure it's warm, like tap warm, right? Or hot. Just turn your hot water and let it go in here, okay? Because you'll need it warm. Not third degree burn, you know, hot, but, you know, warm, warm, hot. <laughs> so, don't hurt your fingers when we do this one. And now let's go and get some water and get our parts and come on back. I've removed the purple paper from the tabletop so that we could see uh, the decals a bit better. I don't know how much of a difference that would make. One tool I forgot about is this triangular ruler or any clear plastic ruler and some scissors. Wasn't even thinking about it. <laughs> when I made that last little video bit. However, okay, so if you can see this, you can see that highly reflective film. It's like on the decal itself. We have to cut that close to the image. Maybe on your own decal sheet you can see it better, but there's decal film that kind of just goes along this edge where the knife tip is and then goes in there and then comes across here. We want to cut that film as close to the red as we can because that'll make it look better on our model and it won't make it stand out so much. So uh, I'm going to start with the pennants that go on the secondary hull because I still don't want you guys to know what ship I'm going to be doing yet. Now this is going to be difficult for me to do up and around the edge of this camera like this. So let's see. Yeah, I think I got that pretty close. Okay, there's a little bit of this yellow boomerang that just sticks out here. So I'm going to be careful. I'm actually cutting in reverse here. Yeah, that knife cut is just perfectly a little bit on top of it, as you can see. And that's as close as you want to get with the knife and the deck all like that. So, let's just... So what you can do as a little trick is just put your knife close to where that is and then tilt, use it as a brake to tilt your ruler around. Uh, I could go in a little more. There. I go, just knock it out a little bit there. I think I'm going to cut the deck. Hang on. It's precision work and it's hard to do it around a, a tripod. Uh, veered off a little bit, but that's just because I'm working around a tripod. So what I will do is cut this out and then just come back. And as you can see, I've taken and cut out all the red pennants 
and I put them on top of the purple paper so we could see them a little bit better. This is basically as close as you want to cut the decal to the actual image. So now I'm going to get out the secondary hull and start putting on these ones on the side. So I'll put these other ones away for now and we'll go over and see how to apply the decals. Here's the secondary hull ready to go and our little red pennant, according to our instruction sheet, is going to go about there somewhere. With that red tail going underneath these two windows and in between the windows down below. Now we just need to get out our water here and we'll put the deck all in and you'll see that it curls up like that. That's just to let us know that it's getting wet and now the water is absorbing into the paper and eventually it will start to unwind. Might need a little help. <laughs> Okay, needs a little help. <laughs> so I'll just unwind it with my fingers here. Oops, I broke the tail. But now you can see that it's starting to slide off the backing paper. So just let it sit there for a second just to further unwind and I'm gonna take some toilet paper here and have that at the ready usually I fold it over and then wrap my finger around it this works to blot up any water okay just gonna take that paper off my finger for a sec. So now this should be able to slide right off. Like that. Now I broke the little tail off on this side. It's always a trick with these. So I'm going to have to Oops. Carefully apply it there. And then I'm going to move the front of the decal into position and then reattach the tail. So actually I'll just let this sit here for a second. Because what I want to do is just do a quick confirmation of how far back that sits. So it looks like the little point of it is right behind that ridge there. It's quite a ways back. So we're just gonna, oops, <laughs> we're just going to put a little bit of water with my finger here, dipping it into our, our water there off camera. Okay, so that ring is right about there, which it's actually pretty good because that's where this attaches, if you remember the front of the ship. Okay, so I'm just going to move this into position. Like so, and what I will do... Just taking my toilet paper, I'm just going to blot the water off the red deck hole. I'm going to put a thumb here. Squeeze and slide the water out that way. And then do the same for up here.
Okay. See if I can get some of that glue off. The glue from the, where the decal was on the decal paper. They put like a little bit of glue. It's a sandwich. There's the backing paper. And then there's like a little bit of glue. And then the decal image is painted on top. And that's so that the glue basically dissolves. And that allows the decal to come off the backing paper. This looks a little curved out. Let's just see. Okay. So I'm just gonna pull this down a little with my finger. So it may be a little bit going wonky here. <laughs> okay, there we go. So that is how to put a decal on. And now I'm going to have to do the other side because there's nothing there. <laughs> okay, fairly simplistic, right? Now we have the decal on both sides of our secondary hull. So this is essentially finished for now. I know there's not too much to this one, but that's about it. All right, we're getting ready for the warp engines. And just for right now, I'm not gonna put the numbers on the warp engine because I wanna keep you guys in suspense as to what ship I'm gonna build. <laughs> so if you look at the instruction sheet here, it shows that the center of this, if you imagine a line running through the middle, goes through the center of the rear intercooler. Uh, there is a space between here and the front. So we just have to sort of figure out where it is. And it looks to me to be that maybe the yellow boomerang is just a little ahead of the pylon if you go straight up. So now let's see how we can transfer that onto this warp engine. And this is quite a long piece. So first I'm just going to take the clip off of it and lay that there. Now keep in mind that we're not using the numbers yet. So I'm only really going to just put this one on. Which should end up being, according to those instructions, oh, in center with that. So it would just be somewhere about there. Because then when this is sitting on the model, that should be looking flat straight at us, that red stripe. So again, same kind of process. Lay that down there. Now there is a trick to this while that's setting up. This is sort of a 1950s uh, fender trick. If you hold the light just right, you will see uh, like on your warp engine, you'll see this line of light that goes straight down this tube. Now, if you can line it up properly, you can actually use the light. Okay, so now I've got it there, and it's going right through the center there. So you can actually use that light reflection as your center line for your decal. This is a little trick I picked up from doing like a million of these kits. So that did not have a good journey off that piece of paper. <laughs> okay. 
I'll just put a little water here. Now I'm going to line it to the center. Oops. So using my reflection, I do believe that it's going to be about right there. Okay. So I am just going to dab that with the toilet paper and I'm going to leave this area empty because that's where our numbers are going to go and then we're going to connect the tail on there. So bear with me. All right, there it is there. So far so good. Now the next part of this is, oops, the numbers, which I had upside down there. Haha. <laughs> now you'll notice something about this. There are some big ones. Of course, those go on the so saucer section. Then there's some medium ones and then some really small ones. And you may be wondering, well, where do they go? So these medium sized ones are the ones that actually go along the warp engine behind that red banner, you know, basically right there. And then these little ones go underneath the saucer. So I'm going to cut out now my NCC 17 and then uh, try to think of what number I'm going to grab out of here. Now I'm going to just put the NCC in there and notice that I've cut close to the edges. I didn't really want to cut in between the letters and all that. So there is going to be a bit of decal film in a sort of rectangle box shape. But that's going to be okay. So we'll just let those straighten themselves up for a minute. See, now you can notice it uncurling a little bit, hopefully. This wants to float around on the top of the water. I'm just going to get my toilet paper ready. There it goes. See, it's starting to uh, flatten out, which means that now is the time. What I'm going to do is an old trick I remember, because I think I'm getting a lot of trouble with the glue. Oh yeah, you can see it right through. Yeah, I forgot about that. These older decals back in the 80s and late 70s, they tended to put a ton of glue on here. And that glue would transfer on your model and it actually kind of wrecks it a little bit. The new decals, of course, are way better. The glue is not so wretched, but keep in mind, this is supposed to be 1983, so <laughs> we had to deal with this back then. So what I did was I wipe off the backing paper and then I just try to get it up and on there again a couple of times until it doesn't look so glued up. Oh boy, these are right there between the seas. All these rotten tricks to try to get that stupid glue off there. <laughs> okay. Well, luckily your fingerprint has enough little grooves in it I might be able to get it out of there. Sorry that you can't see this too well, but... Okay, once you do your best to get the glue out from the backing, then we just slip it back onto the backing paper as best we can. Carefully you don't curl the edges. So I've had that happen a few times. Okay, don't worry folks, it'll still stick on there. Because it's not the glue that glues the decal on, it's actually the deck all itself. Okay. Of course now I can't slide it off the paper. There it goes. All right. There. Backing paper on my thumb here. Let's flip that into your garbage can. Oh boy, Barry. There you go. 
your favorite deck all your favorite numbers now using that blade of light that was going in to the back here just going to try to line up that that little dash i'm going to leave a little space between the stripe and the black number and that should be the first part part of it whoops got up too high so that'll be the first part of it there and i'm just going to pad that down with my paper and then uh, come back and do the second part of this okay get ready for the third number haha -ha. <laughs> just a little zero all right boy i'm really keeping you guys in suspense aren't i 17 oh oh what oh you just have to wait oh you poor guys <laughs> Guys and girls, men and women watching this video are like, come on, what is it? <laughs> Don't worry, by the end of the video, you'll know what it is. And as you can hear, my furnace is going because it's been snowing outside. Believe it or not, this is like, we're coming up April 10th and it has been winter like you wouldn't believe out here in Alberta. Okay. 17 oh my <laughs> okay how am I gonna get this off my finger this is where your knife comes in boys and girls try not to stab yourself okay uh, yeah I got some water on there so 17 oh now, just gonna wiggle this around with my hobby knife, and then I will reveal the final number. At least you know I'm not doing the Battleship Potemkin or uh, the Congo, <laughs> so there's two already eliminated out of what you think. And because I'm not using 1017 or 1371, there's another two gone. So can you can you figure out the next? Well, stay tuned, bat fans. Okay, boys and girls, 17 0, and now for the final reveal. -na 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 -na. That's right, I'm going to build the USS Constitution, NCC 1700, the class ship. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I actually have one. I just noticed that was kind of coming up there. I already have one, but I've done it as the Franz Joseph Technical Blueprint model. And I figured that I would do one in the original way, well, the original AMT way, so that you had the 1700 that way. And then when I do the 1989, or sorry, the, the 2009 new release, uh, maybe even the 50th anniversary edition, I'm going to use those decals and do another 1700 using the proper paint pattern the proper paint palette as you see it on the show and the whole deal so that's one you guys can look forward to and that will give me actually three USS Constitution class ships to use my own imagination as to figure out which one is in the starter of those series of ships so now let's see I just wish I didn't have to compete with my furnace should actually go and turn it off risk the cold but it's been very cold today so I don't know okay oh right back into where it came from this is always a trick which side is the side that goes down to the model and which side isn't well luckily I got some glue on there okay I do believe that's the top, so. I'll just slip that into the correct positioning off camera. But there it is, NCC 1700, USS Constitution. And now for the final decal. It's just the red tail that goes on the end. And it's the one that has the sloping going this way, so. 
It slopes forward that way, and it comes across and tails off on the other end. So, of course, there we go. Sort of a long process. Okay, we'll try it. There it goes. Look at all that glue just coming off of my finger there. It's crazy these things were were so full of glue. You modern kids have no idea. <laughs> no, I don't know. You might find one of these on eBay and like buy it. And then you're gonna have to deal with this glue. <laughs> so there you go. This is how you deal with this glue. I know it's very barbaric. A lot of you professional model kit builders would be saying, oh, what's he doing? You know, but hey, this is what I'm doing. Okay, so just, oh, it'll be this way. Slide that paper right under there. Okay, try to dry my hands a little bit, and then that'll center up the center of that zero. I'll just slide that off the paper, there it goes, kind of the wrong way. I'll just get my hobby knife here, do the old slide out like that. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to give it the equal spacing there. And just wipe this off. Yeah, looks about right. Now, does that look straight? That's a question. Yeah, I think it looks pretty straight. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there is our warp engine for the USS Constitution. Next off we're gonna try to conquer our decals on the saucer section and here's where your pen and paper came in and like I said I cut these out individually off a of photocopy and then glued them on the back with a uh, what do you call that the glue stick and then moved them around into position. So this is how we're gonna lay our decals out here on the Constitution. Now note that it is the third um, circle up that we've got, and that dash goes right in the center line. So does the letter N on Constitution. And now uh, to find those here, there's our center line there. And we just tilt this a bit till we can see where the rings are. One, two, three. So where does that come into play? Well, the letters I've got here on the bottom of that ring, so that's where they're going to be. Now in order to get this aligned properly, we're first going to cut out, we'll start with the big numbers, so our NCC. Now what I'll do is I'll just go pretty loose right here with my cutting. Cut all the way up to the number one. So now that part's out, and I'm going to steal this zero off of the front of the number seven. So now you may be wondering, what do I do with these decals afterwards? Well, 
I've stored all mine in an envelope. And I've used these zeros on race cars and other weird things because they're not Star Trek accurate to the series. So, <laughs> you know, that's what I do with them. You could give them to a friend as a, on a Christmas card. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, so what we want to do, and I'll just demonstrate this with the zero, is I'm going to use my scissors. We're going to cut the decal film. Whoa, that was really close right there. Really close. But we're going to cut that decal film as close to the decal as possible. And keep in mind, I'm working around this tripod. That's why I want to start with the zero, because as you can tell, there's a ton of them on that decal sheet. So we'll just carefully cut out the zero. There. And cut it close. There. 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 And there. And that's one of our zeros. And of course I can just keep cutting this. Um, but what I'll do is I'll cut it off camera, and then I'll show you how to apply it. And there's how close you want to cut your decals out from the decal paper. And now begins the decal of our miscontent. No. <laughs> okay. Let's move these out of the way for a minute. I'll put them over here off camera on this box that you can't see, that you just have to trust is here. You just have to trust it. Let go your inhibitions and trust my direction. The only thing I'm going to leave on here for right now is the dash. Mrs. Dash, everything tastes better with a little bit of Mrs. Dash. So we're going to just dash this dash right into our water. The dog water. <laughs> the Ren and Stimpy. The Ren and Stimpy era, which has not occurred yet, because this is supposed to be 1983. Okay, just blow some of the dust off our saucer. Now, there, right between the dots, is the center line. And we need to go three up. When this dot is ready, our dash... Our Mrs. Dash. I'm going to try grabbing this with these funny tweezers that I got. These work on the press and they open. Okay. Now it looks like it's going to work. So where did I say right about... Well... <laughs> right about there. Now i got to get that little piece of paper off of there. Got it. Now, just got to make sure this little dash is not crooked. Should be spaced. Just, there's that ring there and that ring there. So it should be spaced just in the middle. And just in the middle there. Yeah, that is dead center. A little bit. I think I got just a little bit angled coming here. Let's see.
Yeah. There we go. That's all the numbers we're going to put on our saucer dish. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, let's see now. Now, according to the drawing, according to the drawing, this number one would be pretty much on the close to that edge there. So let's let's go around with our numbers. Actually, in fact, it might be better to start with that zero. Start with the zero on the edge and work our way in toward the dash. Maybe that would work out better. Yeah, let's try it. So we just need to wait on that. Gee, I don't know. I don't know what the best way is. I'm going to put in... Let's put in all our numbers. Seventeen zero zero. Keep in mind that there's that glue under there. It really needs to come off. Try to use the right amount of amount of pressure to get the glue off and yet not rip the decal into pieces. It's always fun back in the 80s doing this stuff, wasn't it guys? Yeah. Treat your decal mean. <laughs> okay, let's see now where is that one going? Oops, looks like it's going from center. One, two, three, four. Out into that fourth uh, radian, or whatever you want to call that. So, yeah. One, two, three, four. It's out here. Now, if I can just catch this right. We will leave the paper on the ship and put the decal in the garbage. No, okay. So. I'm just going to leave the water in it for now. Without trying to blot it out. Oops. Uh, our other zeros sunk to the bottom. Let's just put this down for a minute. Get all that glue garbage off the back. Is there ever a lot of it on these tackles? It's going to be fun getting it off the number one. I don't know, maybe it won't be too bad. Okay, this one is sort of toward the center of the second quadrant. About there. Let's see if I can carefully move it around. Trying not to stab and cut the decal. Oops. Okay, then our seven. Down to the bottom again. And try to get whatever glue off the back.
It's interesting how you can kind of see through it. And then as soon as it gets onto the actual model, it goes solid, solid black. There we go, let's just leave it goofy looking like that. No, um, okay. So now I have to move these up and down and around based off my sketch over there. So this one should be about there. I'm trying to line it up with the uh, the uh, line coming down and trying to get the bottom of the numbers on that top of that bottom um, ring, if you know what I mean. Now, trouble with the zero because I got a big drip of water right there. So I just suck some of that out with the uh, toilet paper. Now this should be. Just about there. And this one. Should be something like that, I do believe. How does that look? Yeah, I guess that looks pretty good. So now I'll just take the toilet paper, of course, and try to blot the water out. One zero looks like it got a bit of a crease into it somewhere. Yeah, before I did this video, Barry and Barry and I were playing a guessing game and he was trying to guess what ship I was going to build, and totally did not guess this one. <laughs> so, now you know, Barry, there is the ship. USS Constitution, 1700. Using our good old machine BT graphic. The font from hell, as you like to call it. <laughs> yeah. I guess it's not too bad. I know you disagree, Barry. <laughs> okay. Seventeen hundred. Now we need the other part of this, the NCC. So then it'll look kind of more uniform. So let's get our three letters and throw them in the water. NCC. Where all this funny? Oh, funny stuff is coming from There's little specks of everything on here. It just appeared. What are they? Where do they come from?
There. Weird. Okay. Little trivia as we wait for the deck halls, eh? Okay. So the only other deck halls to do while I'm waiting on that are the two that go under here with all these little things stuck under here. So there would be NCC 1700 coming out this way and then upside down in reverse 1700 that way. Now upside down in reverse of what? Well, we consult back to our instruction sheet and then we get our answer. So when this is upside down, that's going to be toward the neck right there. And it looks like the upside down part will be here. So it goes NCC. So the N is sitting on the outside of this curve. And then it goes into the center for both sides. But let's go back to the top here. And I suppose I can work from the outside in the inside out. First we get the glue off the back of this. Now for this, it's a little bit different. We want to actually put the C, according to my drawing, just a little bit into the, the line. Sort of out there. And it's a little strange that the dash isn't more up here, just to space it out, but that's kind of the way that uh, Paramount did it originally, so we want to kind of follow suit. And again, trying to get this over-excessive glue off the back of the deck all. I mean, you can just turn it over and see all this white, milky kind of guck on there. Just hope I get it all off. Okay. Now this C basically has the uh, edge against the line. Like there. Kind of there. <laughs> okay, so... More like... like that. Then our final N, once we get all that glue off it, it's going to go in location, grid location 4, Glue was awful. Okay. 
So this one's supposed to go about there. So that's technically how it's supposed to be. Just like that, with that big space in between the NCC and then 1700 kind of squished up together. Like I say, this would have been better if the dash was up here, uh, you know, and then these could move around a bit more, you know, and be closer together. Closer together. Make it all work. Ba -doo -boo -ba -doo. Close it together. There. So it's kind of nice to have the. Uh, oops, I think I just turned that. I was going to say, it's kind of nice to have the drawing. Yeah, come on. Kind of nice to do that drawing with uh, cutting out the computer photocopied decals and then laying it in the right spot because it gives you something to look at while you're trying to put on your other decals so you're not you know, going too far off the register. And then this one. Yeah, because if you didn't have that, you'd kind of have to guess as you went along as to where this went. So yeah. It's kind of an old school way of using your computer, but still, I mean, hey, these results are pretty good. Oh no, there it is. NCC 1700. Now I just need it to say USS Constitution across there. So that's going to be the next set of decals. And here we are into the names now. And of course you can see Constellation. Constellation. Now, make sure you don't get this confused. Constellation is a 1017. Constitution is a 1700. So now we move on to the name. And we want to find it on our decal sheet here. And we're going to use the Constitution. But as you can see, the USS is attached to Enterprise. So we're going to have to cut this decal off. Now cut it up a little because it's actually one piece decal. And you got to make sure you got the right name because Constellation is a 1017 and Constitution is a 1700. So we want to cut out Constitution. I'm going to just cut it rough here for now. Making sure I'm not cutting that decal film. Not just yet, anyway. Not all at once, indeed, as Khan would say, while he was digging through his terrarium for a suitable bug to put in your ear. Okay, anyway. So, so there's Constitution, and I just need USS. So I'm going to cut it really close to the E in Enterprise. Okay, there it is. I'll cut this a little rough for right now. Now this decal sheet is almost at its end, it just needs those 1700s which go underneath. 
fact, I should have done the Farragut because I could have just cut this straight out here. 1702. <laughs> no, I, I've done the Farragut. Okay, so just going to examine this for a minute. See how the decal film is. Yeah. It looks like I would have to cut right against the decal film of the C. So just do this off camera for a minute. Okay, I got that cut, so I'm just going to cut along the bottom here where everything else is, and then cut up there, cut a little closer, and we'll come back. And here's how I've cut out the letters for USS Constitution. And note that I left that decal film there, just where the period is, sort of a blank spot. That's just so that when we put this together, the spacing will be right. And I've also edged where the C is and that sort of thing. And just on the end where the decal film is very slightly, just to give it a uh, kind of a proper edge to it. So there won't be a big little square chunk of decal film not doing anything. So now let's put this into our water. And we will get our saucer and get everything into position. And now we'll just go and reflect on our picture here. As you can see, the center line is going to be where the N is, and the N is going to have a bit of the circle cutting into it. So that's where we're going to be, and we want to make sure that the part of the USS, part of the U, is hitting that third vector line, and the N is cut in where that third vector line is. Remember, this one is the fourth here, and our letters and numbers are not going outside of the fourth into the fifth zone way out here. So it's the same when we look at this. All right, so here we are, getting our decals out of the solution. I'm going to start with Constitution, and then I will add my USS to it. Uh, but before we do that, guess what we got to do? Yeah, that's right. Get this silly glue alpha here. And off the back of our name. Boy, look at it just peeling off there. Use plenty of water. Make sure you got a finger on some of the letters. Okay. Okay, it looks kind of glue-free, so we'll just slip the paper back on it. Okay. Now, the N goes in the center. And that's right up to the top. There goes our paper. Look at that already, it's looking like something. I'll just tilt this up here. Okay, center the N. And I gotta make sure that that median line there is cutting right through the center of the N over there. Okay. And once again, we'll just, oops, I think I shifted it when I pressed on there. Okay. So 
so far so good. Well, that wasn't any good. Yeah. Had a little accident there. Gee, a little touch of water made the whole thing go. Just need the finalization of USS. Again, try to get that silly glue off of there. Finicky, finicky. Yep, kind of got it folded over there, so nine times out of ten, you can just shake this in the water and get it to straighten up. There. Okay, behave yourself. <laughs> So, just gonna slide this off the paper, so it would seem. <laughs> Come on. I need some not so gentle encouragement. <laughs> Okay, now just put a little water here so I can move it. Now that U should be in that. Just make sure that drip doesn't start lifting up our big C. So straighten this around so that the decal film touches the other. And move this. I think that's in position. What do you think? Does that look square? Yeah, I suppose so. Okay. Does it look like USS should move up a little? Let's get rid of some of this water here. Just to double check. Okay, that U is going through the center there. The N is going through the center of that line, so it's got to be in position. And it looks fairly close to what our sketch is, so I think we got a winner. Ah, then I just moved it. <laughs> Fun with decals.
Okay. USS Constitution, NCC 1700. Looking good. And now this brings us to the underneath of our saucer. And these are the last deck hulls we need to put on our model. We're just going to take a quick look at the instructions again. So you can see that NCC comes out this way. So the N is facing outward to the saucer. And then we just rotate it upside down on this side to be outward to the saucer. Remember that this slot is going to be where our neck of our starship is. And now when we look at our deck hall sheet, we're looking at these ones down at the bottom. And any numbers that follow down here, with the exception of this 01 up here, are that size for these ones. So, of course, we just take our scissors, chop them out. Remember to cut close to the edge of the deck halls. And when I have mine cut out, I will start the camera up again. There we are with our 17 NCC 1700 getting ready to go into our water over here. There's its counterpart. Now this one of course is going to go this way. When it is ready, but for now, we will just do one side. These are zeros going in the water. <laughs> we'll get our seventeen hundred or seventeen here ready to go. Of course, the glue. Dun dun dun. I've had a set of these deck halls where that glue is actually pouring out everywhere. That's <laughs> how bad it got at one point. They just caked that glue right in it. This is still there, but it's not too bad. Well, it curled right around on my finger. All right, here we go. Let's put some water down there so we can slide it into position. Of course, after I get these zeros out, I'm gonna try to do this as a one piece. Final O. Got to fish it out of the water here. Would you like to buy an O? Would you at least like to get it out of the water? Huh. 
It'll cost you just a nickel. A nickel? Shh. Right. So buy an O and take it home tonight. Do, 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 do. Just buy the O and take it home tonight. Do, 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 do. Ooh, look at that. It floated right on top of the other one. Okay. Okay, so now, with this, there's a nice imaginary line going from the center of that dot to the center of there, out to there. So we want to try to line up our numbers with that imaginary line. So it would be something like that. Yeah, and I'm trying to make it go equal distance out this way to that edge there. But I think that's pretty much got it. So I'll just blot this down and I'll put this one on off camera and then come back and you can see how it looks. And there you have it, 1700 on both sides in the proper direction. And that's how it would be facing forward with it upside down. So you can see the N is there. And then if you rotate it around and bump your tripod, the N will still be in the same place. And now that is basically the conclusion of our decals. Well, we hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's Let's Build It, where we got to put the decals on our USS Enterprise kit from AMT. Well, I guess mine is the official USS Constitution. However, uh, don't forget to tune in next week when we will be gluing on the small detail parts and gluing our ship together. You don't want to miss that because it's pretty much getting to the final episode. So, until then, don't forget to check out our website www.monster-hobbies.ca where you can see some Star Trek model kits that we have available in our store. Don't forget to subscribe down here and like us and click that notification bell so that you can get the latest videos in your email box. And if you've missed some of our episodes, please check here, here, and here. And until next time, live long and prosper and just... Watch those decals. Enjoy them. Have a good one.